Welcome back everyone to this third video on the finite element analysis of beams. In the previous video, we uh, derived uh, using uh, weighted residual methods, we derived the uh, element equations and the element stiffness matrix. Uh, in this video, we will use the symbolic manipulator to derive the equation. Uh, again, we will get the same results, but uh, in th this time we will be uh, utilizing the capabilities of symbolic manipulators. So uh, let's go to Maxima. Uh, here we are. Uh, Maxima, as I may have mentioned before, uh, is an open source symbolic manipulator. I always prefer using, uh, using uh, open source. So I'll start by defining uh, the edge vector, which is a matrix uh, of uh, 1 uh, x, x squared, and x cubed. OK. Uh, sorry. Okay, um, uh, missing uh, a lot of uh, uh, things but again okay here we are uh, now we also define the first derivative which we will use uh, in the transformation matrix so we'll just say that this is the differentiation of uh, h with respect to x and we will use the second derivative in the stiffness matrix so let's just define it here excuse me, uh, let's just define it here right away, as the differentiation of h x with respect to x. Okay, now let's create the uh, transformation matrix. Remember that the transformation matrix is defined uh, on two, uh, is created by, by uh, using the two ends. So we'll start with x equals zero, uh, and here we will say that T1 uh, is uh, edge of X uh, numerical, okay? And T2 is edge X numerical, okay? Now uh, we will get to uh, T, uh, sorry, uh, uh, let's go to the other side, X equals L. Uh, and T3 will be defined as H, and T4 will be defined as HX. Now we have the four terms, so uh, let's uh, create the T of uh, the transformation matrix, which is the matrix of uh, T1, 1, one uh, T2, 1, T3, 1, and T4, 1. Okay, here you are. We get the matrix, so the inverse, we call it T1, is defined as invert of T B. Now we get it here. So now we have the inverse of the transformation matrix. Remember, that's all what we need. If you want to uh, to see how the N looks like, uh, let's here uh, write N is equal to H dot uh, T inverse. And here are the four uh, interpolation functions or the, the four shape functions as you can see them uh, but we're not interested in n actually we use uh, the trick of uh, extracting the transformation matrix out of the integration so let's define k as the integrate of uh, transpose of H X X dot H X X with respect 
to x from 0 to n. Uh, I forgot to kill x before coming in. Kill x. Okay. okay. So now we have this integration. Uh, actually, we can see how it looks like, but this is not useful for us because we will need to still to get the real k, we will need to multiply by the transpose of uh, t uh, inverse uh, dot uh, the integration and from the other side by t inverse and here you are this is how it looks like uh, you can of course multiply by e and i not of course actually this is what you're going to be using in uh, any program uh, you're going to use the matrix n, but here we see the skeleton. Uh, usually, we like to multiply by L cubed uh, times L times L times to uh, see it in a simpler form. Uh, this is exactly what we had in the um, uh, in the previous lecture or the previous video of this uh, lesson. Uh, now you can uh, use this to uh, create your uh, finite element one. Now let's uh, uh, do a little trick here. What if I decided to add another node in the middle? I will need now six, I will have six degrees of freedom per element. Uh, which will need five uh, fifth order polynomials. So let's add uh, x to the four and x to the five. There you are. What do I need to do here? Nothing. Nothing. Now I will define x equals zero. Get t one, t two, t three. and t4 and let's define the extra two terms here uh, we will need to add uh, tb5 uh, or that will be h sorry x uh, l over 2 now tb5 is defined as h numerical there you are uh, tb6 is defined as h x numerical there you are okay and now the transformation matrix will have t4 and t in it so this is how it will look like now let's invert it uh, I'm sorry uh, what's wrong here undefined that is undefined okay here is the T matrix Let's kill uh, X here. Okay, what's wrong? Let's go to the one, to the two, one, to the five. And six. Okay, here you are. Here is the inverse. Uh, and again, you can see the fifth order polynomials. Uh, I don't really care about them here, but finally, I'm able to get the uh, six by six stiffness matrix of the beam. Uh, of three nodes, two degrees of freedom per node. Uh, of course, uh, the numbers here may look clumsy, but 
uh, this is what we are looking for. Uh, it's quite interesting and quite nice to use uh, these uh, symbolic manipulators to work uh, around with uh, different uh, elements. Uh, so uh, what have we done here? Uh, we actually uh, uh, used Maxima to uh, create our element uh, matrix. Uh, we also use Maxima to play around and add an extra degree, uh, extra node in the uh, in the bar in the beam, uh, which uh, we saw how uh, straightforward and easy it can be. Uh, now we are ready to start assembling the structure uh, using the element equations of the different elements. Uh, we are going to do that um, uh, as an example and then go to Octave in the following video to uh, see how we write the program to describe or to solve the problem of beam uh, deflection. So see you next video.